So we have some very, very exciting news. These are the kind of announcements that I love so dearly for the sport of boxing. The road to undisputed. We are going to find one undisputed champion in the 140 pounds women's world super lightweight division. And I'm delighted to be joined by the four competitors. And first up, Chantelle Cameron, WBC world champion, Mary McGee, IBF world champion. And also, as you can see, through this entire event, we will have all six belts on the line because I'm delighted to say that in the fight one between Chantelle Cameron and Mary McGee, we will also have the Ring Magazine belt on the line, which, as we know to fighters, is the coupe de gras of world championship belts. Luda Bella is a big part of this tournament and actually represents three of the tournament's uh, competitors. Of course, you've got Chantelle Cameron and Mary McGee, but you've also got Callie Reese, the WBA and IBO world champion, against Jessica Kamara for the WBO title as well in fight number two. This fight, Chantelle Cameron against Mary McGee, will take place on October 30th in London on the huge Dillian White card. And Mary McGee, sorry, Callie Reese against Jessica Kamara will take place in November. The winners will fight each other for the undisputed championship early next year. I wish that in every division in boxing, we could find one undisputed champion. We're starting to do it, and we're particularly doing it in women's boxing, because these girls are up for challenges. They want to know who the best is in the division, and this fight is one of the best in boxing. Mary, I'll start with you. Thank you. You've flown over from America for this announcement. You've been looking for these fights for a long, long time. Chantel Cameron, a great fighter yourself, a great fighter. A chance to win all these six belts in just two fights. Great for boxing. Very great for boxing. I'm excited about it. I've been boxing for 20 years and to be on a stage like this means a lot to me. Obviously, you know a lot of the, the girls in the tournament, Callie Reese uh, and Jessica Kamara as well, two great fighters as well. I'm see you've, you, you, I know you've seen Chantelle fight mm -hmm. before. It's a great fight. I know you've been looking to fight her for a long time yes. and it's going to be a great, great fight. Yes. Well, you can tell me about it. Well, I mean... <laughs> Well, I know Chantel's an undisputed champion and, um, well, not undisputed, she's a undefeated world champion and she has the WBC title and um, I've seen her fights and I've noticed her style. She has a very unique style, but I feel as if I have what it takes to beat her. You've been grinding hard in women's boxing for a long time, but do you see now that, that you're starting to get, not, not the recognition I know that you girls think you deserve, but at least the progress is happening. We're getting high profile tournaments, of course. This tournament streamed live on the zone around the world, all six belts on the line. This is the difference between, in some respects, men and women's boxing. The chance for everyone gets together, the champion says, yeah, we want to do this, let's go. And it happened very, very easily. Yeah, and women's boxing, because it's not a lot of us in one way class, so it's nice that the champions are willing to get together and face each other to, you know, bring all the belts together. I never thought that I would be on this type of stage because I was used to doing like a lot of club fights over the years in boxing. And I come from when we were making like $100 a round to be fighters. So to be on a stage like this and be getting significant pay to fight and six belts means a lot. Congratulations, you deserve it. Chantel, I know you've been looking for these big fights. We talked about your dream to become undisputed. It starts here. It's a quick way and an easy way to do it. Sometimes you have to wait years and years to get the chance to be undisputed. But here, four great fighters just say, we're ready to go and ready to find out who the best is in the division. Yeah, it's exciting. I didn't think this was going to come around, especially so quick. I was only one this last year, but it's happening and I'm grateful and I just can't wait to get started. Last time out, great performance in Las Vegas. It was a great trip. Uh, a tougher fight this time out in October against Mary McGee, a very, very good fighter and a great world champion. Definitely, it's a level up, but I'm leveling up in the gym, so I'm excited for it. I think when I get these tough challenges in front of me, I think the best version of me will come out, and I don't think I've shown that yet. Obviously, everyone knows you're a great talent. You punch very hard as well, and to get those fights with those bigger names, you feel that this is the kind of event that will bring you those big fights as well beyond this these are all big fights but you talk about katie taylor undisputed at lightweight you become the undisputed light welterweight champion then they're fights that just can't not happen definitely it excites me to get a grip my, grip my teeth kind of fight where i can get stuck in and i think um, it's going to happen now the doors are opening for me and i'm grateful that they are opening finally well we can't wait Chantel, mary thank you so much the start of our road to undisputed tournament october 30th on the huge dillian white card is Cameron against McGee, and in November, Reese against Kamara. The winners will meet for all six belts live on the zone.
face to face, please. All right, guys, thank you very much. Well done. Good luck. Good luck. Well, welcome back a day later from the incredible announcement for the Road to Undisputed tournament in the 140 pound division. Um, we are a day later than planned because Jessica Kamara has come all around the world getting stuck in Paris for 10 hours. Thank you so much, Jessica, for joining us here. We're here for the second of our semi-finals uh, to the Road to Undisputed. Of course, Kaylee Reese against Jessica Kamara, WBA, WBO and IBO World Championship as well. Kaylee, we'll start with you. Remind me, three-time world middleweight champion, of course, current WBA and IBO, like welterweight champion of the world and famous actress now as yeah. well, you know, but uh, you've been a huge part of women's boxing and development of women's boxing. So good to see tournaments like this and be involved in something that's going to lead to all these six belts for, for one of the females in this event. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the first time women have had a super series or a kind of a tournament to lead up to Undisputed. The, the lead up to it is going to, you know, build the drama or kind of the anticipation. Everybody's goal is to be Undisputed. So to be part of it and to be 13 years in the pro game, this is kind of what I've been fighting for this whole time. So it's good to be, be here. I kind of feel like it's a little bit like De Bella and Brian Cohen versus Matrim in this tournament. We only have one fighter in this tournament in Chantel Cameron. And of course, yourself, Jessica uh, and Mary as well with Brian and Lou as well. But it's a good feeling amongst you. I know you know Jessica well as well, but there seems to be a great feeling amongst all the female fighters in this event that you're going to get the opportunity. Of course, the paydays as well, but and, and the accolades of becoming undisputed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, women's boxing, we have a lot of respect for one another. When that bell rings, it's all business. You know, we kind of have a switch. But it's awesome to have that camaraderie too, and we're all going to put our all in. You know, it's kind of, I think it's a little tougher to be nice and cool with people you're going to fight rather than having the beef, you know what I mean? So I know everybody's going to put in the work. I know I am. I want to see the best out of everybody. So it's really, it's really nice to see, um, you know, the ones that deserve to be here to be here. And um, what do you think about your uh, competitors in this event? I mean, last time out against Diana Prazak, tough fight for you. I know you weren't 100% in that fight, but you got through it. You got the IBO. Tough fight against Jessica and Chantel against Mary should be a cracker on October 30th. I honestly think I'm more excited about Mary and Chantel's fight than my own, <laughs> but I mean, we're all talented and we're all getting better. You know, I already said to a, a bunch of people, Jessica impressed me when she fought St. Ville and then the change she made when she fought Heather Hardy, she made Heather Hardy look, you know, she kind of put easy work with her. So I know she's, you know, she's getting an opportunity that everybody wants. So Mary is a veteran also. She's gotten better. She's a champ for a reason. And Chantel's young, hungry, and she's strong, and she's, you know, a really good boxer. She has a hell of an amateur background. So I'm excited that these are the good fights. It's not just a six-round keep busy fight. This is the best of the best in 140, and we're going to train our hardest and bring the best. So I'm, I like those fights. I like to be challenged. And, and November for you, East Coast, with the possibility as well of a little Providence pipe, particularly, probably on the Demetrius Andre card as well, which would be a big moment for you. Absolutely. I mean, it's funny because I go back to where I started, but a whole different fighter. And to be able to be in my hometown, me and Boo Boo have been trying to fight on the same mm. card for a long time. So it just adds to it. So it's really exciting. Jessica, thank you for coming as well. Like you see, these six belts will go down to one fighter uh, in this tournament as well. Great, great news that the champions and yourself will, will do battle to find out who is the number one in the division and a great opportunity for yourself and everybody involved. Yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks to you and Lou DiBella for, for making this happen. Um, I've been training and working so hard over the past 14 years um, for this moment. And I, I was originally supposed to fight for the WBO um, title back on August 20th mm -hmm. against um, Victoria Bustos so that got cancelled. And I'm granted this opportunity now to fight for all six belts. So I'm really grateful and excited for this opportunity. We see in women's boxing a lot of people fluctuating between the weights. Of course, Kaylee here boxed at middleweight down at 140. You've boxed, I think, as low as super featherweight or even, even lower than that. You boxed at lightweight, yeah, 135 at lightweight. And of course, boxed a uh, great win against Heather Hardy last time out. St. Bill is a very tough competitor as well. But you seem to be hitting some, some good form at the perfect time for this event. Yeah, I mean, um, when well, my fight with uh, St. Bill, it showed a lot. I showed a lot of heart. You know, I'm going 10 rounds with a hematoma on my head. And then, you know, I bounced back from that and I fought Heather Hardy. And I improved a lot from that fight with St. Phil. 
and these good matchups, I feel, bring out the best fighter in me. And it, it just challenges me and motivates me to train hard, and that's when I perform my best. And finally, you know Kaylee, of course, and you know Mary, and, and I'm sure you've watched Chantel as well. Good yes. opposition, and, and first things first, it's going to be a great fight with you and Kaylee. Yes, I'm really excited for my fight with Kaylee. Um, she's, she's really exciting to watch. She brings a lot of energy to her fights. She shows a lot of heart and passion, and so do I. So I feel like this fight's going to be really exciting, and it's going to be a great fight for the fans to see. Well, thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Kaylee, as well. The second part of our incredible Road to Undisputed tournament, live and exclusive on the zone. This fight will take place in November. Official announcement coming soon for the WBA, IBO, and WBO World Championship belts as we find out one undisputed champion in the 140 pound division for all of this gold. Thank you. Face to face, please. You're tall. Thank you. Well done. Good stuff.